Why has the West failed to stop Russia from continuing its war? As of February 2024, the West has imposed 18,700 sanctions on Russian individuals and organizations since the war in Ukraine began. This makes Russia the most sanctioned country globally, surpassing Iran and North Korea. Yet these efforts to isolate Moscow have not been as effective as expected. What has led to the failure of these sanctions? Despite these sanctions, the Kremlin continues its war operations, even achieving significant victories in Asia. What actions has President Vladimir Putin taken to ensure Russia's resilience? According to the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, and the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, Russia's economy suffered in 2022 with a GDP drop of 2.1%. However, by 2023, the economy had rebounded, with GDP and industrial production increasing by 2.5% and 3%, respectively, in the first eight months. This rapid recovery has left many Western policymakers doubting the sanctions' impact on Russia's war capabilities. Adding to the West's frustration, by the end of 2023, Russia launched its largest attack on Ukraine since the war started, deploying 158 missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles. Although Ukraine claimed to have intercepted 114 of these, the December 2023 and January 2024 bombings underscored the ineffectiveness of Western sanctions. Earlier in the conflict, there was speculation that Russia would run out of advanced long-range missiles, which proved untrue. Despite significant losses, Russia continues to modernize its military. How have they managed this? Initially, Western countries united to sanction Russian industries and individuals, including excluding Russia from the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications, SWIFT, a key financial communication network. Additionally, the G7 and the EU imposed a price cap of $60 per barrel on Russian crude oil. This, combined with higher insurance fees and longer shipping routes, was intended to cripple Russia's revenue. However, Russia adapted by creating its shipping routes and fleet, mitigating the impact of the sanctions. Moreover, Russia has strengthened its trade relationships with non-sanctioning countries like China, India, and Turkey. These countries have become significant consumers of Russian oil, bypassing the price cap and sustaining Russia's economy. For instance, bilateral trade between Russia and China surged in 2023, with energy exports playing a crucial role. India and Turkey also increased their energy imports from Russia, further weakening the sanctions' impact. Interestingly, even the European Union, which imposes sanctions on Russia, remains a major importer of Russian energy. This has inadvertently helped Russia diversify its energy markets, returning its oil exports to pre-war levels by mid-2023. Russia's strategy includes evasive tactics such as turning off ship transponders and using civilian companies to mask military imports further undermining the sanctions. Russia has also established alternative supply chains for high-tech equipment, preparing for sanctions since the annexation of Crimea in 2014. By leveraging relationships with friendly countries and improving domestic production, Russia has maintained its military operations despite sanctions. Sanctions have indeed impacted Russia's economy, depreciating the ruble by over 50% and causing higher inflation and food shortages, Yet the government has managed to stabilize the domestic economy through subsidies and controlled exchange rates. Additionally, Russia has circumvented financial sanctions by using alternative payment systems like China's Union Pay and Japan's JCB, along with a domestic payment system called MIR. This has allowed Russian banks to continue functioning despite being cut off from Western networks. While Western sanctions have caused economic difficulties for Russia, they have not achieved their primary objective of halting Russia's military actions in Ukraine. The Kremlin's strategic economic measures, combined with support from non-sanctioning countries and domestic resilience, have enabled Russia to withstand the sanctions and continue its war efforts. As the conflict continues, the effectiveness of Western sanctions remains in doubt, highlighting the limitations of economic measures in resolving geopolitical disputes.